Oh, I love that Andy, and he, like, I felt bad when he was screaming for help, like, honestly, I felt kind of bad. Yeah, so did I, but I was like, nah, he literally <laughs> tried to fucking wipe out the entire world. Yeah, fuck yeah, this guy. After that, I was, like, I was like, yeah, the fuck this bitch, fuck this guy. Put, nah. him the, put him in the jar, put him back in the jar. Put him in the big jar. Put him in the big jar. You're going into the big jar for this one, pal. <laughs> Uh-oh, you made a fucky-wucky. Time to get in the forever door. Time to get into the forever jar. What was your opinion on Olivier? Hot. Hot! Oh, you mean the bitch in the fucking ice place that was Armstrong's sister? The Northern uh, Wall of Briggs. Uh, oh, okay, somebody in the chat has a question. Characters. What do they got? Okay, so, damn it, it faded away. Uh, somebody was asking, like, what favorite shows you like from the 90s and 2000s is, like, from Nickelodeon or Cartoon Network. Which Cartoon one? Cartoon Network. Okay, your favorite cartoon channels in the 90s, 2000s, Nickelodeon or Cartoon Network. Which side were you on? That's I a hard both, one. I had both, so... I also had both. Honestly, though, I like Cartoon Network because in that era, the Cartoon Network fucking commercials were actually lit as shit because it was like, oh, yeah... All the characters live together in this little town, and they do fucking shit on their own time, and they run into each other. You know what I remember? And I just thought that was really cool. And also, Cartoon Network uh, regularly fucking went and posted advertisements on Nickelodeon's channel. It was really funny, too. You know, the, the one thing I remember, like, Chris had kind of showed me this, and my memory was a little vague, but... Um... There was like a ser there was like a little series of Scooby-Doo ads, and it would play off like the Blair Witch Project. Oh yeah, I remember yeah, those. And that yeah, actually ended up getting canceled, or like that actually ended up getting taken down because a lot of people were like genuinely freaked out by it. <laughs> oh come I... on! Yeah, I will, yeah. hmm. I will say this thing. because since I was born in '97, I I grew up in the 2000s, but I did watch some of the reruns from the '90s, and I will just yeah. say that of my favorite Cartoon Network shows, these were the ones that were shown on the Toonami block. That would be Tsunami. Mobile Suit Gundam, the 8th MS Team, and Yu Yu Hakusho. Because Yu Yu Hakusho was lit as fuck. It was. You tell- you look at that opening and you tell me you don't feel a certain way. You need I mean, the help of a friend. I mean, fucking art- fucking, um, Cartoon Network had Toonami and Adult Swim. Too I think it kind of wins Nami, over- dude. Yeah, basically the gateway- for, for most 90s kids' uh, interest in anime. Literally, my f I watched my first Studio Ghibli movie through Toonami, and it was Princess Mononoke. Oh, shit, dude. I remember being- I always remember being excited to get home from school, in middle school, so I could watch the new G Gundam episode. <laughs> I remember Gundam oh, Wing was all over G Gundam. Gundam. Uh, G, Gundam. G Gundam was fucking- G Gundam was my introduction to Gundam, I'm pretty sure. I love G Gundam. Gundam, man. G, Gundam G Gundam was series. like one of those. That that was my introduction yeah, to just fucking mecha, like mecha anime. <laughs> I, I Perfect G anyway. Gundam. Like Remember. G Gundam is definitely one of the more like kind of tropey like West or like adapted animes. Okay, this is the same. But, epic. But, but at the same time, you just kind of have to love it, you know. This is the same anime that had a... Remember, they had Gundams representing uh, different countries of the world, and one representing Neo-Mexico was a guy in a sombrero hat named Tequila Gundam. Yeah, it's really funny. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you should see... Another Gundam series. Oh, you should see the Netherlands uh, Gundam. It's literally just a big windmill attached to a gunman. Gundam. <laughs> I... Ow. Okay, so the the other the other night where I just kind of dropped out of the call, I dropped out because I've recently started watching like a bunch of Gundam media again. I started out by watching Gundam Unicorn, and You've I seen will say Iron Blooded Orphans. Yes, I have. Oh my god, good. it's so good. It's, it's so, so good. <laughs> no, what about Gundam Iron Double O? Ugh. Which one, Riley? Double O. Double O. Gundam Double O. I started watching that, and I'm I haven't seen it yet. It's I'm very really happy. With, I'm really happy with what I'm seeing. I watched Gundam Unicorn, and I have to say, out of all the Gundam series, the track for when Unicorn first like steps out into the field at the end of the first episode is 
Chef's Kiss, one of the best musical tracks ever. Like, hands down. Hang on. I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get this bitch. Also, yes, Wait, Chad, I did that on purpose because I'm already at, like, zero lives. And more importantly, I was just, like, fucking farming to fill up my energy tanks because I'm on the last... Oh, god damn it. Why did I do that? Fuck! Yeah, why did you do that, the fuck? I was so, like, I was on autopilot. God damn it. All right, well... <laughs> that was a waste... That was a wasted gesture. <laughs> oh. Look at this fucking Gundam. Look I see it. it. I see that, boy. I'm a. I'm gonna sit here and listen to Unicorn again because it's a perfect track. Ow, fucker! Get out of here. This track is actually so popular that a lot of people, like both in Japan and the United States, want this to be played at the opening ceremonies for the uh, for the Olympics. Mm -hmm. Huh. Because it's just, it's a really, really good track. It is good. Somebody also said, hey, have the actual fucking Gundam carry the torch. Oh. <laughs> they have the Gundam. They can program the Gundam to do fucking movements and shit. Have the Gundam carry the torch. Why the fuck not? Apparently there's been some shit going on with the Olympics behind the scenes. Like, apparently a lot of volunteers in Japan quit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's it's been a shit show apparently. Oh, Africa nice. Gundam. The only thing, Fuck. the only reason why I anticipate to any kind of sport events, whether it's um, whether it's like Olympics or Super Bowl, is just it's really just to have just interaction with friends, in a sense, where we can just either react to it or or not. Like Riley, at one point was uh, we were watching the uh, the Super Bowl ads. Uh, hmm. Yeah, and the, like, the thing I always remember is that during the, um, like, I, I'm kind of repeating myself here, but I just find it hilarious that while we're watching the Super Bowl ads, Dr. Squatch comes in and we were all fucking moaning, like, oh, this guy. Uh... It's like the hey, did you know watch. your, your, your shampoo, your soap is listed as detergent? Who the fuck cares? If it cleans my body, it cleans my body! I thought he was gonna say balls there, and I was about to be like, hell yeah, brother. I mean, you might as well yeah, say that I too! I use it to wipe my balls, then I use it to wipe my fucking balls. <laughs> I don't care if the dr- I don't care if the drug skin appears! Whether it's listed as detergent, as soap, as shampoo, I don't fucking care. If it goes out in the shower, it goes on my body. Look at these fucking Gundams, man. I love G Gundam. Yeah, G Gundam oh, no. just had some really fucking weird ones. <laughs> is, that, is that fucking Spain the bull? Yeah. Yeah, it's I figured. Spain Gundam. I love Africa Gundam. <laughs> Therapist, Africa Gundam isn't real and it can't hurt you. Africa Gundam. <laughs> yeah, really. I am a blatant racial stereotype. <laughs> I mean, breathe. Like the fucking, the fucking, the the zebra print and the zebra heads on the shoulders aren't enough. It's got the damn neck, like the damn neck ornamentation. Holy fuck, G Gundam. <laughs> <laughs> I would actually breathe. go. If I could bring G Gundam back to the Ow. back to the present. And not Gundam build fighters, because I don't care about that. I just don't care about build fighters. I them. would bring back, I would pay them to make G Gundam again, but update everything. Update the graphics, update everything. Oh, is that Russia. Gundam Master? That, that's Russia, by the way. Yeah. Oh. Rush, R Russia Gundam. Yeah, that's, that's Howard uh, Volt Gundam, if I remember correctly. Powered by, by the the Powered by vodka, bear blood, and potato. What are you Why'd talking you say, about? Why'd you say potato twice? You said vodka, because, bear blood, because, and potato. Because difference between liquid potato and starch potato. Yes, and also <laughs> Viking Gundam. Do, do, do you think- is that what, fucking Scandinavian? 
Norwegian. I, I think it would Norwegian. Norwegian. <laughs> Norwegian Gundam. And then what was it? Neo Sweden yeah. had a fucking schoolgirl Gundam. I do I sorry, I what? think I remember that, but I don't want it to be real. Look at it, Vlad. <laughs> Look at it. <laughs>